Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a dreams tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a cursor menu with a character selection. Um, so let's see what that looks like. So I've put in option one, option two, option three, and as you can see, I don't have an imp. I have a cursor. So I can select my options on the menu with my cursor. So if I pick one, uh, press X and um, I've now got dwarf, two is a ghoul, three is a wizard. And once I've chosen my character, I think I can then go to game and that would have linked to level linked to um, my game and I would have spawned as my ghoul character here. So let's see how all of this is done. Okay, if you watched my um, tutorial about the controller sensor, this is the tutorial that I said was going to demonstrate the use of the follow imp option. So here is my cursor and I've stuck a microchip on with a controller sensor inside. And I've set it to possession mode of follow imp. I've also set it to imp faces camera uh, that way it will keep nice and flat uh, towards the camera and, and not turn around so it, it always looks the same pretty much um, and also force possession so you never see the imp uh, it just force possesses immediately and goes inside the cursor I've also got uh, the imp set to hidden so we don't see the imp we just see our cursor Let's have a look at how these options work. Now, in my previous tutorial, when I did a menu, um, I used the imp hover uh, over some blocks. Now, uh, that will work uh, lovely with the imp, but unfortunately, a follow imp possessed object does not work that way. You cannot use hover and grab, unfortunately. So I'm having to use uh, detect zone instead. So let's go into, whoops, let's go into this microchip. Um, so we've got some variable modifiers here. Let me just tidy this up a little bit. Okay, we've got a detect zone, trigger zone. There it is there. It's slightly angled because of where the camera is. Uh, you have to be careful of that and it has to incorporate um, the, the area where your uh, possessed cursor is going to be. Uh, so trial and error with these options so they're not overlapping each other and they are in the correct position uh, for this camera angle. You might have to turn them in certain uh, degrees to get it to work, but experiment with it, get it in the right positions. So we've got a trigger zone and that is connected to a keyframe which turns the text red and turns this text on. So this text um, is only turned on when you are hovering over it with your imp, with your cursor. Um, this text is always on but it goes red with this keyframe. And we have a controller sensor in here that's set to remote controllable. And that is set to um, the enter button, which is the cross, into our AND gate. And then from our AND gate, we've got these four variable modifiers. Now, these variable modifiers are changing a variable. Uh, this one is changing our chosen character to number one. This one is changing select one to one. This is changing select two to zero. And select three to zero. So what this is doing is it's saying to this, this variable, I have chosen character one. It's telling this variable turn on, this variable turn off, this variable turn off. And these variables relate to our characters. So if I go into the character logic, inside here,
we um i have these puppets set to non-possession so you can't possess them and inside is a variable this one's got select one in it and um, a calculator that's looking to see if it's zero if it's zero then it's going to teleport our character to a waiting tag this is a tag I've called wait so uh, it's going to sit here if it's not a zero so it's a one so it's been turned on um, it's going to go to the select tag which is this tag here this is where you see it on the screen so it's moving um, my the position of our displayed puppet interview if it if its number is a one so if I look at option two here's option two uh, again we've got all of the same except the variable modifier chosen character is now chosen character two select two is set to one select one is set to zero select three is set to zero i think you can see how this is working now so these are turning these back to zero so, so it depending on what was here it doesn't matter what it is it's going to go back over here and it's going to say character number two which is the ghoul is going to teleport over to here now when you get to the bottom and you choose go to game um, I've got a doorway here go to game and um, everything else is is exactly the same and I've got another microchip that houses our chosen character and now this is set to persist in dream I will have another copy of this variable in uh, my level where I'm going to play the game and it'll have attached to it a selector so in this world you wouldn't have that selector you just have this variable in your the world that you're going to be playing the game um, you would have this variable plus this selector this selector is linked to the active port from the current value of that and then you'll have emitters attached to these so this is this is a zero so this will be the default so if you come to this world without going through the selection screen you'll need a default um, character that that will spawn so that will be your default b is character selection one c is character selection two and d is character selection three you'd link them to admitters you admit your character and then away you would go make sure you only admit it the once and that it's uh, permanently existing or you could have all of your characters in your world existing maybe they are in boxes or coffins or um inside like they pop out of the ground i don't i don't know um but you'd have animations set up to activate those and then you have a character there and you would force possess or you'd have all three characters just standing there and you would force possess the character b c or d it doesn't really matter which way you do it um, you can think of all sorts of ways that you could spawn your character at the start of your game based on um, this variable and uh, what you want to add to this selector i haven't made one that does it with a, a level link and all the rest of it because um, that will require me to make a dream put it in private and once you've done that you can't delete it i'm having difficulties trying to keep um, the amount of local stuff that i've got uh, on dreams down to a minimum because i keep hitting the maximum and then i can't save things so um, that's why I haven't made it uh, but that's the principle anyway and what you want to do with this selector and how you want to spawn uh, your characters is entirely up to you right there you go I hope that was useful I found it really interesting to be able to get a cursor instead of 
uh, an imp on the screen. Um, it's really nice to see. It's a pity we can't have it in the game totally uh, without building something absolutely monstrous. Um, I did put in a request on the feedback form and some people have come back with lots of different options on how you could maybe move your imp around in 3D space uh, on a possessed object. Um, but uh, I haven't managed to work any of them out to actually get them working. So I have a look at that if, uh, if you're interested uh, and maybe you could try out one of those options. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in dreams.